Hey guys, Video James, and this is going to be a breakdown for the new Transformers of the Last Night K Kids' Choice Awards trailer. Now, you should have known that the second a Transformers trailer came out, I would be on top of it. That as soon as I got a chance to record it, I would get straight on Smart Pixel, turn it on, find the trailer, break it down, or react to it, and record it. Because I'm basically hyped for this movie at this point, that I just want to see this happen. And I've already seen this trailer I actually saw it last night a couple of times and so this is basically going to be a breakdown not a reaction because I already know what's going to happen but I think just for like kind of full information gathering kind of watch the whole video so I'm just going to click play and push this up yeah so apparently yeah that's another thing right here right here is that we see this character we don't really know her name yet I don't think but we see her, and she's in what looks like a car with baby versions of the Dinobots. Because we see we got the Triceratops one, we got the Pterodactyl one over there, and then we have one behind her. I'm not sure if that's Grimlock or Spike. But either way, she's surrounded by Dinobots, so this might have been before Lockdown came to Earth for the first time. Which actually makes sense, because if Lockdown did come to Earth... Logic stands to reason that it would have been for the Dinobots, because a lot. one of the main theories from this scene is that Lockdown came to Earth looking for the Dinobots, she knew where they were, she had to run so that Lockdown didn't get her too, and then because of the Dinobots being on Earth, she got involved in the whole thing, and that was when Lockdown came to Earth, got the Dinobots, and struck the deal with KSI. And then we see the big robot here, who actually has got the whole thing on his back. And now, we actually have his name, Canopy. And we see Squeaks there, and Cade, and Bumblebee. We all know Bee's going to be the new Prime. And there's Squeaks again. And then we see Galvatron comes back in night mode. And we see he's got basically an army behind him, so one of the theories behind that is that Galvatron went to a piece of the night ship, because we already know that there's Cybertronian stuff scattered about the planet. So one of the theories is that when Galvatron is coming up out of that lake, he just got off of a part of the night ship, and he basically found a bunch of bots that were knights, and he's recruited them to help him fight the Autobots. And then we see Cade basically blowing him up, and Hound again with his new symbols and the new paint job. And then we see the B versus Optimus just slugging it out. And this is my favorite part. And the theory behind the whole junkyard thing is that we know in Transformers 4, the Jaeger's house got destroyed. So, it's probably guessed that Tessa and um, Shane aren't going to be in this movie. But, there's a theory that because the Jaeger's house was destroyed, Cade had, um, what was his name, I can't remember, the guy who ran KSI, buy him a junkyard so he could only, not only have a place for the Autobots to hide, but at the same time have a place that he could do his stuff, that he could make all his inventions and all that. But anyway, that was basically the trailer, and that's a small bit more information that we got about the movie. It's not too much more, but it is enough to kind of fill in the gaps where we didn't see. But this is going to end up being probably a better movie than 4. I'm not going to say it's going to be one of the best, because in my opinion, that's always going to be 1. But anyway... I'm going to leave this breakdown here. I'll leave a link in the trailer. Ugh. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to watch the trailer. And if you like this video, you can hit the like button as always. And I will see you guys later.